Sonia Laney, Audit and Budget Advisory Board. Um, for the record, I just want to go on the record why I'm standing here tonight. I'm a certified public accountant. Um, I think a lot of people take that lightly. Um, it's funny. It's hysterical because I come up here and I speak for ethics and whatnot. And it's funny to accuse me of being Mayor Green's pet or up somebody's you know what, or somebody's best friend, when in actuality I stand up for ethics. And what I find grossly ironic about this situation is I spoke out about this and and nothing happened absolutely nothing happened in December with the exception of some sunshine law training and then when it calls to Mr. Noftel's attention that he may have been um, out of line in his behavior he has the audacity to name me he doesn't come out and name me Sonia Laney but it is very clear in his paragraph to Mr. Casella and to, the, to this board that he is suggesting that I violated the Sunshine Law. And so I'd like to walk you through the evidential matter that you have before you, which occurred between December and January and February. And basically what the issue was is that back in December and January, uh, Mr. Noftel was quite adamant about his position on the pensions. He came before the city council as a citizen and voiced his concerns on how you were going to fund the pensions. Okay, he went on the record and he did that. You have those minutes in front of you. And then as a, as a matter of fact, we go into the Audit and Budget Advisory Board where he subsequently hands us, which we'd already received, emails from Mr. Ford and Mr. Bastian concerning where they'd like to see the board go. One was with reports and one was on pensions. If you will notice, Mr. Ford's email comes through to us, but it does not go into the read file. Okay, so it is not a public record. Then we get an email from Mr. Bastian, which is fine, and he says, I agree with Councilman Ford. No big deal. Didn't think anything of it. So we proceed to have a meeting. At the end of the meeting, Mr. Noftel and Mr. Schaefer bring up bank reconciliations and fuel tax, and I could not figure out for the life of me what they were looking at and how they could possibly arise to the conclusion that bank reconciliations weren't done. They came to that conclusion too quickly, and that gave me pause and asked me to drop back and take a look hard at what in the world is going on. For the record, I sent an email to the clerk to address this privately to the board. Privately. I gave Mr. Noftel the courtesy of a private, I guess it is a public meeting, but I did not do it in this forum. I did it at our board meeting and asked him point blank, did you, did you send a copy of Bob Ford's email to Drew Bastian? And he denies it. It's in your packet. He denies it in his meeting. He told the board he did not send a copy of Bob Ford's email to Drew Bastian. He signs it as the chair. Your last piece of evidential matter in your packet is the email which uh, Mr. Bastian properly and rightfully turned over as a public record a copy of an email thread whereby Mr. Noftel did in fact forward an email to Mr. Bastian. And, and I want someone to explain to me why I as a member of an Audit and Budget Advisory Board purely volunteering have to consistently have my ethics and my license, which is how I make a living and how four employees make a living, constantly gets challenged, but this is allowed to continue. And, and I have no problem. If that's how you guys would like to run this board and that's the type of advice you'd like from your advisory council, I have no problem with that. I respect that you are the leaders and you're in charge. I would just humbly request that you let me know that. Just let me know that this is what I can anticipate and expect. And I would like to tender my resignation from the Audit and Budget Advisory Board because I personally cannot have my license associated with a board that is allowed to behave in an unethical manner. And I thank you very much.